freediving family, we are back at Mix Sinkhole. I don't know if you remember, but probably about like a month or two, we met a local guy in Mount Gambia who was keen to show us his sinkhole that he had in his backyard. And we're back now to like explore it properly and kind of map it out and just really get down there because it was an amazing spot, but we just didn't have all the, all the gear we needed to do it properly. So here we are and we're going to give it a red hot go. Rainy days don't seem so wet. So guys, this electric fence is on. It's an electric fence? Yeah. Good to know, I did not know that. And uh, there's a hole over there, just be careful of that. And you'll see it as you come to it. Yep, that's the hole. Oh, that's the hole, it'll get you. So, Mix Sinkhole uh, was just traditionally called uh, Elat Elap. And there's a few different theories about the name. The first theory is that it is the word pale ale uh, in reverse. <laughs> and the second is, is that it comes from the, the indigenous language here uh, where lap lap uh, used to mean little fish. So there were little fish in here. And you know, so they called it the uh, elap elap. Um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, it's a insane place. So <laughs> very, very lucky to get to explore this. All right, so the plan is that we're gonna set a boy up here in the fixed position. We're gonna drop the line down and we're just gonna explore down the line. That way we know where, where we're going. It's always in a fixed place and um, it'll be a lot more safe that way too. The team we put together for this exploration was Kim Dahlgren, a friend and a freediving instructor, Matt Anderson, a former Australian record holding freediver and freediving instructor, and of course, we don't go anywhere without the Silver Fox. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay from the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. <laughs> it's sick, isn't it? Yeah. On the next dive, I followed Kim down with my camera, and Matt and Colin were doing safety for us. At the moment, Kim is swimming around this amazing willow tree 30 meters underwater. The first time I came here, I only just got to glimpse the tree and I never got to take in the full scope of the sinkhole underwater, but it is just unreal. All right, so we've just been diving in this little area where we first hopped in and uh, we found the tree straight away, which is just epic. Uh, the tree, or at least like the kind of the branches where we were, was sitting at 33 meters. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the boys over here to this section of the sinkhole and drop the lines down here because I reckon that's where the base of the tree kind of starts. Um, so we'll see what it's like there at the base of the tree and then we'll just keep, keep going around. <laughs> On the next dive, I follow Matt down the line and we pop out just behind the willow tree. This is about 25 meters deep and it's the shallowest part of the sinkhole and you can see how it just slopes down dramatically from the willow tree. Um, so you can see how like the terrain, like it, it looks like it slopes down like really aggressively. So right there where the tree was, really shallow. Uh, I reckon that top of the mound would have been about 20 meters and it just goes right down. So we're, we're gonna pull the line up so we don't damage the branches of the tree and we're gonna drag it over here to this little corner of the hole. Because I reckon, I reckon that um, on the other side of the branch, we'll get some like, really good depth. And I just kind of want to see what the tree looks like on the other end, on the other side, so down we go. There's a whole bunch of reeds uh, that's been growing on the wall, and they've just detached, and it's just floating around in the middle of the sinkhole now. <laughs> it's really, look at it, just floated over, over right next to the boy here.
on the other side of the tree there was this enormous arch and the water inside looked pitch black. I couldn't even see how deep it was but it looked deep. And then look at Matt, this cheeky bugger, just drifting casually away from the line. Because he was looking back out at the light, he didn't realize that he was drifting into the cave. And I was sitting there freaking out going, Matt, come back, come back, you're gonna disappear on me. Far out, there's, there's a full, a full amazing chasm down there and it's deep, it's really deep. Um, we're gonna move further into the deep zone and we're gonna put the line deeper so we can actually go deeper into it and we're just gonna see see what we've got. We're gonna put the line to 30 meters and we'll just see how much like water that exists underneath the 30 because you know more depth is cool. <laughs> So with Kim and the silver fox as our safeties, Matt and I swam down once again with the line as close to the arch as we thought was safe. And here we are, 35 meters down, staring into an enormous abyss. I have no idea how far back that cave goes and I'll never find out. <laughs> After this dive, we dropped a dive computer down to the very bottom and it was 42 meters deep. 42 meters allows me to run all the freediving courses I could ever need. I can run the Wave 1 course, the Wave 2 course, the Wave 3 course, and the Instructor course. I'm absolutely stoked. Well, wasn't that just spectacular? <laughs> My battery ran out just as we were getting out of the sinkhole, so I've like smacked it onto charge in the car and uh, I'm driving back to Adelaide now. So I'm, I'm on my way home, uh, but I just sort of wanted to like, you know, just talk about how awesome that was. Uh, I can't believe the size of the cavern. I can't believe how deep it all really is and how beautiful and clear the water is. Yeah, oh, totally gonna be back. <laughs> um, and uh, look, two really important things happened today. Number one, we got to explore, oh, the car's going past. We got to explore a place that has very rarely been seen. And number two is that I had a much better day than Shane did in Bali. Yes, it's a competition. I will see you in the water somewhere. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too.